We interrupt this regularly scheduled uh, project build because I've got to go pick up my very first buggy I'm getting to work on for AMR Power Sports. It's a early 80s golf cart. We got the trailer hooked on to the Dodge. And I got the four wheeler on here because this go or the golf cart's not running and we need the winch. I started to fab up a plate that I can slide a winch into, but that's all the farther I got. I have to build a box for a battery and all the wiring and everything. So we're gonna use the big bear to haul up the golf cart. I guess this golf cart has a fueling issue. It's not running and she's an old girl. So we'll bring her up here and my first paying customer, we'll see if we can get the guy running. Unfortunately, I don't have the new shop cleaned out yet to be working in it. So this guy's gonna have to go in the carport. We're gonna have to be working out of the OG Hillbilly Garage here for time being. So it could be kind of a little throwback to the original days. Alright, so we've got this early 80s par car golf cart that the customer states has a fueling issue. I guess it's not running very well. So we're going to try to figure out what's going on with it. So something you might not realize, yes, it's a golf cart, but these early par cars were actually made by Harley Davidson. So they're American made. Let's lift up the bonnet here and check out the power plant in this beast. So these came with, I believe, like around a 70cc two-stroke motor. I'm not exactly sure on the motor size, but I think it was somewhere between like 65 and 70 cc's. Two-stroke hybrid. Now, as you can see here, this has this massive electric motor on the top that serves two purposes. One, it works as the starter. When you hit the gas, you see here it's connected to the crank via this belt, which helps spin the engine over to get it running. And it also provides a little bit of assistance in driving it itself. So that's a pretty neat feature that it is a two stroke hybrid basically. And kind of another interesting feature with these par cars is because this is a two stroke for reverse, it actually, the motor spins backwards. So it spins in the regular direction to go forward, and then for reverse, it actually changes direction and spins backwards. So that's kind of a neat feature. Kind of makes timing these things, I guess, a little bit tricky. It is oil injected, 
So you don't have to mix your gas. You just fill this with oil. Your gas goes back there and then it mixes. Let's make sure there is oil in the oil tank, which there is, that's good. Let's see here, we've got our oil line running there. It has an inline filter. Our fuel, which has an inline filter, which we'll be able to see. Now the customers already did replace the pulse pump down there, so it's good. So we should be getting fuel to the carburetor. And I'm not sure if they are running non-ethanol gas or running any kind of fuel treatment, but older engines and older fuel systems, especially carbureted ones, do not like ethanol fuel. So I'm guessing the carburetor just needs a good cleaning, but let's uh, put this back down and see if we get anything out of this old girl. All right, the most important test we gotta do first, see if the horn works. That works. All right, now I don't want to run into the Wildcat, so let's see what happens in reverse. So it's running, but not well. Let's see what happens when I pull the choke. There we got a little bit. Let's see if she'll go forward. She's running. Whoo, she's smoking. So it's running, but not very well and probably has a lack of power. So I think we're gonna go just go ahead and pull the uh, carburetor, clean her all up and see if that makes a difference. All right, I got this guy up on jack stands here. I also wanna take a look at our CVT here real quick and see how well it's engaging. It seems to be engaging okay. That's making me believe even more that it still just need a good old carburetor clean. So the carburetor is over on this side. Ah, oh, is over on this side. Well, that's all. Here's what's going on. This isn't even hooked up. Here's our issue. This is completely off. Oh boy, yeah. That probably has something to do with it. We are way, way off. So that's restricting airflow. Okay. Well, let's uh, pull this air box off and see what's going on right there. So here's the first thing I found is this right here is not on correctly. So you can see here there was only one screw in it and this was actually kind of on like that so we were cutting our airflow and we were sucking in unfiltered air let's go ahead and pull this i'm still going to go ahead and pull the carburetor while we're here we'll clean her up good and we will go from there so here is the old intake that was used remember one screw was on there crooked wasn't working well and here's the carburetor with my new intake it should be much better and then I replace the hose on this guy that goes into the air box. And this should have us all fixed up. A couple hose clamps there. And we will be ready to rock this golf cart once again. All right, well, let's see if that intake was the root of our problems. That's an awful noise there. Just the throttle a little bit. <laughs> Forward. Oh, whoops. I think I have my throttle or something that's adjusted a little too tight. Maybe. I'm gonna have to slacken them up a little bit. Before I do any more, I'm gonna adjust those guys. I'm gonna end up running into something. It's just reversed. <laughs> It's only the reverse that's making that ticking. Mm, it's not ticking. 
What is it? What what picking? Zzz, it's like a buzz. Oh, that just in reverse. Rattle. Oh no, that that's a it's a backup. That's a backup alarm. Oh, that's a backup alarm. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, no, no, just that, just a little. It actually feels like the brakes are what needs adjusted. You hit the brakes and there's like nothing, nothing, nothing. The throttle might be okay. I, need I think it might need new brakes. Yeah, they just might need it adjusted. I don't know what kind of brakes are on this guy. But man, it took off there, so I'd oh, say it's it. got plenty of power. I thought you were going to go down into the trailer. Yeah, I thought I went at first there too. Let's take a look at the brakes and see what the brakes are on. <laughs> Yabba dabba do! <laughs> yeah. See, that's the... I need a light. Let me hit that for you. Yeah, that's that. Now that one's not even working over there, I don't think. And I don't think there probably isn't any other button back or on the front. Why? Why is yeah, it like it's just that? rear only. So. Hey, Torn, don't do that, please. I'll, I'll take a look at these. I'll jack her back up and take a look at these brakes. Okay. I don't need this up. And uh, see if they can be adjusted to work a little better. You're smoking, Jason. I would say. It's really smoking. It's a two stroke. That just does that? A two stroke smoke. Okay. It uh, kind of makes me want to find one and build it, lift it, put big tires on it. <laughs> Wonder what one of these run. We'll have to look it up. You've said for a while you wanted to go, you've always wanted to. That's what I'd prefer for my garden buggy. Uh huh. They got a hitch on the back, it'd probably do your cart. This is a little two stroke, so it's got some power to it. They're lower than a four wheeler side by side, too. Yeah. Which the golf, the, the dump cart wants a lower well, let's stance. Let's test her up. Oh, yeah, brakes are working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're holding a hill. That's good. back to the customer and move on to the next one three right next three three lawnmowers come which I'm, i don't think you guys care much to see anything with lawnmowers one's just a service one's like a junk bearing or something's bent and the third one what was the third one is that the one that's it's electrical cutting? issues in the third one and it's cutting crooked right or is that a different one that might be the same. I don't know. I've had so many calls now. I've got them all jumbled up in mm -hmm. here. So. Need to write them down. Awesome job. 
Okay. To hold it yeah, right in front of the camera. Say it again. Awesome job. Woo! Mm.